Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on Salesforce Gold. Guys, this video is related to one of my previous video which was around change data capture. So that was the change data capture basic and this video is going to be the change data capture advanced version. So guys, as part of this video, in change data capture, we'll be creating custom events uh, for CDC. We'll be creating custom events member also. I'll let you know how you can add filters there, how you can add enriched fields there. That also will be there. So guys, uh, the first question is why we need these custom events now if we are already having those standard one. So you can use custom events when there are multiple subscriber and they are having different needs because like in the standard uh, one, you will be just having all the fields. Whenever any fields will get changed, you'll be having that CDC event trigger. But what if there are 100 fields and uh, you just need to trigger your CDC on some specific uh, fields that maybe on selected 20 fields. In that case, you need to create a custom CDC channel and in that channel, you can add a filter to apply these settings. So in this video, I'll show you how you can create a custom CDC channel and uh, I'll be applying a filter on it and I'll show you like how you can uh, send only the selected fields from your Salesforce org for the third party subscribers. So let's start today's video, guys. I'm Kapil, your host and you're watching Salesforce Gold. today's video so as i told you like this is going to be a video related to one of my previous video it was like uh, which was a basic version of cdc so i'll be sharing the link of that video maybe on the top right corner of this screen or maybe top left corner during this video okay so if you haven't checked it out yet please do check it out and uh, this was as part of my previous video so we have created a, an emp connector in my previous video and i'm i'll be using the same org with the same connector but this time the only difference will be here like we'll be using custom cdc event so custom cdc events you can utilize them when you're having different subscribers with different elements uh, requirements like maybe there could be a subscriber which will need only few specific fig fields and there could be another subscriber who needs like uh, maybe some other specific fields so in this case you can create a custom channel where you can you know you'll be able to add a filter there and using that filter you will be able to manage the uh, cdc triggering part like when it should trigger and when it should avoid this thing okay so to create it guys to create a custom channel there are two ways of creating it first one is the using the metadata api standard way using vs code you can do that another one is using postman tooling api so for this video we'll be using the postman tooling api way okay so for that guys you just need to log in into your postman account and uh, you can create a new collection or choose any existing collection for example i'm just selecting this uh, existing collection here which is salesforce platform apis okay and then you have to create a new individual fourth collection for that and in the fourth collection you need to configure it first so let me name it first cdc custom fork okay now we have to configure it so first we need to change some uh, parameters in this fork collection so for that you can just simply go to this variable tab okay and then you can check the url first so right now the url is login.salesforce.com but as i'll be using my uh, developer org so I need to have this URL there. So I'll just copy it from here and I will paste it here in this current URL. Okay, so the domain has been changed now. Now, apart from that, you need to update the chorus in Salesforce. So for that, you can simply, first let me save it. You can simply go to Salesforce org go to setup and here if you will search for this core setting then you can simply open it so for this example as we will be getting the request using uh, postman so we need to enable it by adding its url so allow origins list so in this list we'll be adding two origins here so first is going to be https 
root from postman.com okay i'll hit save and i will add another one which is going to be the same but with a different url which is going to be dot co because while we'll be pushing these requests from postman so we'll be getting a uh, request from these uh, two urls okay so i will save it here all right now we need to authenticate this org with postman okay so for that what you can do is you can uh, simply go to this authorization tab and here you can click on get new access token okay now as i have already logged into this org so i just need to give the permissions here so i will just grant the permission okay it says authentication complete now you need to click on proceed now this is going to be your access token and this is your instance url so you just need to copy this instance url from here because we will need, we'll need it in the back end and click on use token button okay now after having that instance url with you you can simply go to that uh, variable tab again and in the endpoint setting so this is the endpoint initial value is null in the current value you need to have that url okay and make sure to save it after that okay wait a second did i save it yes okay now as it is saved now now we can you know test this connection by sending a simple uh, request so to send a request what you can do is you can simply go to this is my fork okay from here you can go to rest and uh, limits here it is rest limits okay and i will just test the simple connection request okay it says sending request now as a result it should send us back 200 status okay you can see the status 200 okay that means the connection has been established successfully now the postman connectivity with this org is ready guys now you can you know create your custom channel here so now to create a custom channel guys you need to change this endpoint first and before that you need to select the post option from this post tooling as object okay now to post this custom uh, CDC channel request you just need to go to your fork collection in my case it is salesforce platform api CDC custom fork then here you can go to tooling api and from tooling api you can select post post tooling as object thing okay now here instead of this last parameter in this url you need to enter platform event channel even though we are creating this uh, CDC but uh, this platform event and uh, CDC is part of the same streaming api so in the meta data you will be able to find it in the platform event channel and the cdc members will be in platform event channel members okay okay so this is it we have added the url now we have to make sure to have the cdc thing in body so we'll go to body here okay and to create a channel we need to pass some parameters like full name so this is going to be my channel's full name and as it is going to be a custom channel so the end of the channel should contain underscore underscore chn channel okay so let's say cdc events underscore underscore c chn sorry so this is my custom channel now i can pass some other metadata items as well so as part of metadata of this channel i'll be having channel type which is going to be data okay another thing i'll be having a label for it let's say let's name it custom channel for the 
demo okay this is good this is fine okay now this is my custom channel cdc events underscore underscore chn so i'll just send this request to test it okay it says 201 created that means our channel has been created and this is going to be my channel id okay so i will simply copy it and uh, maybe i can paste it somewhere in sublime okay wait a second let me copy it once again okay so this is my custom channel okay now this is your custom channel and guys in one custom channel you can have multiple channel members as well so let's assume like you can create a custom channel for multiple entities like there could be a member for account and there could be another member which could be for contacts so that's how you'll be able to have multiple channel members on a single uh, channel okay now let me show you how you can create a channel member and also guys as i said we'll be using some enriched field also there okay so with channel members we'll be using enriched field so for that we need a field first which we'll be using as an enriched field option okay so for that let me quickly create a new field in my object so i'll quickly go to my account object here it is and this is account field do i have any auto number field that can be used so guys the benefit of using enriched field will be so usually while you will be creating an account the so cdc will be passing everything in it okay but uh, when you will updating a specific thing so cdc will be passing that updated field only with some other details like the type of the transaction cdc id and all those things and maybe account id and all these things okay but what if uh, there could be few fields which you need with every request okay so let's say if i'm updating a field but there are few specific fields which are kind of needed with each request so those fields you can add as an enriched fields okay so for that i will just create a new field here and i will be using it as an enriched field So I'll make it auto number. Okay, let me name it account number. So it is account underscore number. Okay, starting number. Let me make it zero and uh, generate it for existing records okay i'll hit next okay i think this is fine we'll make it visible for all and save it okay so this enriched field can be added with your channel events member okay this cannot be added with a custom channel but it can be added with custom channel members okay so to do that you need to go back to your postman uh, thing again because we are doing it using tooling api so instead of this platform event channel we will be having platform event channel member here so create a new member okay now to create a new member guys we need to change the body of it so i will quickly remove this full name full name is in channel member as well so i will name it so as part of full name you need to have your channel name first underscore chn then you need to have the event name so as i'm creating it for account so let's name it account change event okay so this is my name for this uh, channel member now as part of the metadata guys we can pass enriched fields whatever uh, fields are needed as part of this 
request so in my case i just need one field you can add multiple fields separated by this curly braces here so in this meta data you can simply add and rich fields sorry we need curly braces and here wait a second so for this enlish field first we need square brackets and then we need each field in separate curly braces okay so i think this should be good okay so i'll be having my field here which is account number so you just need to enter name and here you can enter your api account underscore number underscore underscore c and if you have multiple fields you can just simply hit a comma here add another curly braces and your field detail there with this same uh, layout okay now after this you need to add the channel name in which you are creating this channel member okay so for that after metadata i will just hit one comma and an event channel i will be having my channel name which was cdc events right so i'll do cdc events underscore underscore chn okay this is good and in selected entity we'll be having entity of that uh, object so for account it is going to be account change event for contact it is going to be contact change event simple so selected entity and we having account change event here okay so this is okay the metadata this should be part of the meta and actually i think i have closed it at the wrong place so let me quickly remove it from here and paste it here yep okay so this is the way using which you'll be able to create a custom channel member so for example i have created this account change event channel member this is a custom channel member in this cdc events channel okay now if i will save it so you can see it has been created now now if i will go to my vs code and uh, here if i will try to find it out so first i need to pull it from my org actually so as i told you already guys it is going to be inside that uh, platform event thing so for that you need to go to platform event channel and uh, so this is my custom channel you can see here and platform event channel members as well and cdc events account change event so this is my custom uh, channel member guys account change event this is my custom channel member here which we have created as part of this demo right okay so that's how you can create these custom channels and custom channel members now another thing is so the cdc will be triggering always right i mean what if you need to trigger it for some specific task maybe you know some specific uh, field update only so in that case you need to add a filter in your cdc record so that filter is also going to be just a custom field in your object and based on some based on your criteria so let's say if i want to trigger the cdc only if, if account name is getting updated so i can create a basic automation for that i can create a boolean field in my uh salesforce or and using that automation i can make that field true whenever the account is getting changed and after the transaction i have to make it false again and in cdc we can add a simple filter criteria in the event itself criteria would be like if that custom field is true only in that case you should be triggering the cdc otherwise you have to skip it so let me show you how you can do that so to add a filter criteria guys first we will create a field based on which we'll be having the filter okay 
So for example, it could be any field, standard or custom, doesn't matter. But for this example, uh, let's say if I'm creating a Boolean field, okay, I'm creating checkbox, hit next, and uh, let's name it CDC check. Okay, now I will hit next. By default, the value is unchecked. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, guys, the filter criteria, you can add it on channel members. Okay, so let's say in our channel, okay, let me just quickly copy the name first, CDC check, here it is. So let's say in this channel, I want to add the filter, criteria. in this channel member, I want to add the filter criteria. So for that, what you can do is, you can simply add it as part of the metadata. So here is my enriched event channel selected entity, I will add it above this thing okay so to add a filter criteria guys you can simply do filter filter expression and here you need to add your filter expressions like uh, my field name sorry my field name where it is oh, cdc check so here I will be adding in double quotes my field name equal equals to true so this is going to be my filter criteria and uh, let me add a comma here okay so to avoid uh, wait okay this thing okay now it's fine so guys you can add multiple conditions also in a filter criteria you can have different conditions like uh, a filter criteria this expression uh, cdc check equals to true and uh, apart from that you can have like and and or condition as well like if you want to add it based on some other conditions also like for example and let's assume i'm having a field like uh, amount amount is greater than 1000 so this CDC channel member will only trigger if the if the record in which you are updating it is having this check through and their amount is greater than 1000 okay so that's how you will be able to add these uh, CDC event here okay let me remove it quickly okay now I'll show you a very basic example to test these things I'm not going to do that uh, thing in trigger or this uh, automation flow because that is going to take some time and then this video length will be exceeding so but still i can show you by you know uh enabling this checkbox manually so i'll do that okay now let me show you how it is working without this filter criteria first so to subscribe to a channel i'll be using the emp connector and i will be using any existing account so let's assume i'm opening this account and in this EMP connector to subscribe to a custom channel, the way is a little different. So for that, you have to use URL slash data slash your channel name. In our case, it is going to be CDC events underscore underscore CHN. Okay. Now I'll try to subscribe. And uh, here we have subscribed to the channel successfully. Now in this, I will try to change anything. For example, name. Okay, I will hit save and here we should be having response. Yes, we are having it. So the CDC is working without any filter criteria right now. Okay, now let me add the filter criteria first. So to add the filter criteria guys, you need to have a patch request. So that's why I have updated the request here from patch. And also you need the ID of your channel. So that ID, I think it should be visible in the metadata as well or else what you can do is in your tooling api also you can execute a query to get all the platform event channels okay and you can search for using your specific channel name so as we are using the tooling api so in the postman under tooling section we'll be uh, selecting get tooling query so get tooling query okay now here in this query we will enter our query so it is going to be like query equals to select id from platform event channel 
where developer name equals to CDC events and we will hit on send. Okay, it is taking longer than usual. Okay, so we have received a success response and uh, this is my platform event channel ID. So I'll just quickly copy it and paste it here. Oh, I think we already had it. Yeah, this is the same ID. So if you have already copied it somewhere, guys, you don't have to perform this step. Otherwise, I mean, if you ever wanted to update a channel member related to your channel, then you can simply, you know, get the channel ID first and then based on that, you'll be able to update the channel members of it. Okay. Now to update the channel member detail, you just need to send a patch request here. Okay. So as I was already having it here, so I have just selected a patch from here. The URL is going to be same what you have here. Okay. Now in this URL, you just need to uh, add the channel member ID as well. Okay. So for the channel member ID, you need to check the response of the previously uh, executed channel as we are not having it here. So what we will do, we'll again go to get tooling query first. Okay. Now here we'll do, we will uh, query the platform event channel member basically. So here we'll do channel member platform event channel member where here we'll do where event channel equals to the id what we copied from there okay so this was the id and uh, this will be giving us list of uh, channel members under this uh, specific channel okay so let's add the name field also here developer name and uh, yeah i think we should be good now let me execute this query so here it has returned one record because we are just having one record here okay if you will have, have a multiple records then there will be you know a list of records in the same json format so this is my channel member id so i'll quickly just copy this thing copy and I will paste it here in my sublime okay now I'm having my channel member name and uh, channel member ID now we have to hit a patch request here so for that we need this ID so I will go to my postman again I will go to previous tab which is going to be a patch request the URL and switch system uh, platform event channel member okay now to add a patch request you need to add a slash and paste your channel member id now as part of this patch request i'm adding the filter expression based on the cdc check field okay now we will send this patch request okay it says the filter expression is having syntax error insurance syntax okay there is a syntax error wait a second i think it is going to be single equals to here let's check it out yeah uh is it done filter expression criteria i think it is done but uh, we haven't seen any response it says no content and i think this is the expected response while you are making a patch request okay so we have added the filter expression and now the same filter expression is going to be available here as well so if i will do these channel member download again and if i will check it in the code again okay let's wait overwrite all three now it is downloading those channel members it is downloaded now if i will go to platform event channel members and uh, this is my account change event so here you'll be able to see the filter expression right and uh, from here also you'll be able to add it using the meta API, of course 
all right so we have added that criteria guys now if i will try to execute the event again so this was my previous thing let me quickly unsubscribe it copy this thing refresh it now we will be trying same with the filter criteria okay i will paste it here subscribe to it and uh, now i will change the account name again okay so it is one two three four five now i will save it and it is saved and here if you will notice we are not getting that cdc event triggered because that filter criteria condition is false right now okay now if i will uh, make that condition true so let me quickly open developer console i will use this id and here in my developer console i will do query editor select id name from account where id is equal to this okay and we have to select that field as well which was cdc underscore check double underscore c okay let me execute it from here Mm, select id this from account where id equals to why it is not getting executed only aggregator expression use field aliasing okay oh my bad sorry comma okay so it is false right now now i will make it true okay and we will update it here so in the ump connector we are not having anything i will make it true i will save do the save rows okay so i think this has been updated let me close it and execute it again yes so this is true now and here if you will notice the moment i have uh, changed it to true the cdc uh, got executed and uh, there was a update event now if this is true if i'm going to change that account id again then it is going to be there and also guys here if you will notice so here we should be having that enriched field which was account number i think and i think here it is this if you will see here the highlighted one so this is the enriched field what we have added as part of the enriched field metadata thing right so yes i think that it is for today so today you learn multiple things like how you can create custom cdc event channel members, add enriched field, create a post and patch request and uh, add a filter criteria also and how you can trigger it. So I think that was, this was a good video. And uh, as always, I'll be having the complete code on my blog, which is salesforcecode.com. So if you need the code or you want to see the JSON response or see the patch request and all those things again, you can simply go to that blog and check it out. So if you like today's video, guys, subscribe to the channel will be awesome. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.